So uh, you, you, you have the Sonic Theorist, right? Yeah, yeah, you're right. Uh, uh, so is this uh, just uh, Sonic Theory we're doing there? No, it's, no it's, it's more than that. It's uh, it's not just any theory. It's uh, uh, a game, game theory. theory. Everybody out there on YouTube, this is your man Shaddix again. We are back with another discussion video featuring the Sega Scourge. Say what's good, my neighbor. Hey, everyone. I am the Sega Scourge, the Sonic Theorist, for like the millionth time. And uh, yeah, glad to be on Shaddix's channel for a change because I'm always on overdrives. Uh, not even on riders yet, actually. So yeah, it's a good change of pace. Good change of pace. You know, I'm here sitting here with my um, my m and I'm Black King Star now. Uh, m ms for chocolate. I'm chocolate. You know it makes sense yeah so, um today we're going to be talking about sonic lost world and how it is a product of the community when i say it's a product of the community the game isn't bad i say the game is decent at least but um the flaws the game has or the things people complain about in the game are because of the fans the fans mm -hmm. freaking they, they ask for you know more control right you know what i'm saying yeah they were saying boost was just like we, you only have two speeds you, you you stop or go fast you know you run into a wall you know it's like bam um just stop. And yeah, well, the thing, the thing, the, pro, the thing with Sega and with the fans and like their like I don't know deliberation between them is is that with 06, it kind of started this this like saga which where the fans kind of were second guessing themselves on what they wanted and Sega didn't really know how they wanted to proceed, so they made the whole boost mechanics you know because it's extremely straightforward. It, it injects everything you need from you know Sonic the Hedgehog into the game. It's mostly speed with occasional button inputs from the player. And then obviously, you know, the more that goes along, the fans naturally, of course, were asking for other kind of gameplay styles, trying to bring it slightly back to adventure, you know, give the people more control, but maintain the speed, you know, which is why we got things like the parkour system in Lost World. Exactly, like, um, freaking in Lost World, all right. Because of this, we, you know, the parkour system wasn't refined. I, that's something on Sonic Team's uh, end of the deal. They, they should have made a more refined parkour system, but, at the same time, they were building this game around this the all these complaints. You know, fans wanted less speed, which they specifically asked for less speed because they felt like they needed more control. And they were asking for features mm -hmm. like the run button. Like the run button was wasn't just something spur of the moment they thought was a good idea. They fans asked for something around like the area of a run button. They were like, Can we choose something that changes our speed? You know, how fast we're going or you know, can we get more control over this one thing? Fans asked for stuff, and Sonic Team just didn't know what to do, you know? Especially mm. since, like you said, people got bored with the boost-style gameplay, you know? They they want... They, so the Sega... The, Sonic Team. I'm stumbling <laughs> over my word. Um, they, they were like, let's bring parkour to keep this momentum going. And on top of this, we had this split opinion on should the game be wholly 2D or completely 3D? Well, you know they already saying? started that trend with with Unleashed and Colors, massively Colors, uh, yeah. and then they, I guess they just carried it over because, I don't know, I, I want to say Sonic 4 started it in a way, and then they kind of wanted to play the whole nostalgia card repeatedly, you know, because they know that everyone likes the turn to the old sort of side-scroller kind of style, even though it's not like fully side, it, it doesn't even feel, you know, anything remotely like the classic games, it's just kind of this tricking the brain into thinking that it's retro styled and it's actually not. I personally think the 2D side-scrolly style for some of the 3D titles are is overused and we went over this in a playthrough part i think on overdrive no it was on your channel what the fuck yeah yeah, yeah it was on colors on colors you yeah. were like it kind of defeats the purpose of having a 3d game exactly it's being marketed as a 3d sonic game and that's kind of one of the main criticisms with sonic is that he doesn't work in 3d and then rather than advance on that and try to make him work in 3d they keep relaying it back to oh no we're going to turn it into a side scroller like colors it was like at least 75 percent of that game was side scroller exactly so. I, I feel like um in lost world they struck a balance at least uh, yeah, with that, definitely. but they didn't refine the 2D gameplay because the 2D gameplay felt slow, you know, and they were trying to use the, utilize the new mechanics at the same time. So the yeah. controls for the 2D sections were clunky, while at the same time, you know, utilizing the 3D's play style in, in a sense, if you get what I mean. Like it wasn't it wasn't well put together, you know. It didn't mm -hmm. fit in the game because people there were still people, you know, like we want a completely 2D game. I don't want new Sonic. I want Sonic 3, Sonic 2, Sonic 1, Sonic CD. I want games like those. I don't 
don't want these new Sonic games anymore. And, you know, I can get what they're saying. They're saying they want a new 2D Sonic game, you know, but they don't realize that Sega and Sonic Team are trying to cater to both the new and old fans at the same time, it, mm, which, which is pretty hard. Which is why games like Generations exist, primarily. Exactly. Yeah. Now, because of this, we did get good things out of it. Well, oh, oh, I thought it was cool, something cool. You know, we yeah. got the Super Pill out and the Spin Dash back. Was the Super Peel out in the game? I, I don't rightfully remember. Did it did it behave the same way as the Super Peel out in the originals? Was it a separate button input? No. Or was it just, did his legs just turn into the figure eight? The, all right, when he ran in general, his legs were the figure eight. But if you hold the run button, he does the Super Peel out. If you hold it without moving the analog stick, it does the Super Peel out. Does it, does it count as the Super Peel out though? Because the Super Peel out was something that you charge. like Yeah, no, much. you charge it up. You charge it oh, up. Really? You hold it and charge it up. People don't know that because Sega, and that's another thing Sega, I mean, not Sega, the Sonic team, you, you, I'm, we're just going to use that. Yeah, I was doing the same. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but they messed up with that. They didn't tell people how to play the game because there's a lot more. You, the parkour system is a lot more in-depth than what people think. It isn't just holding the button. Like if you double tap when you're near a ledge, you will actually hop over the ledge like you see in the opening cutscene of the game. You know how Sonic is just hopping over those. I just hit my mic. <laughs> you know how <laughs> Sonic is just hopping over the ledges continuously, like seamlessly? Mm -hmm. You can do that in the game, especially in the 2D sections. That's what I like about the Sonic games opening uh, openings now in relation to the actual game itself, because the old games didn't really fall into this criteria. It kind of the old games were a bad representation of the kind of things you can actually do in the game. But from Unleashed onwards, most of the openings showcase the kind of things you can do in the game, and Lost World is an example of that. Exactly. I mean, like I'm not gonna lie, as a kid, I was always trying to do like stuff like in the uh, SA2 opening. I'll be like, mm -hmm. man, I can't do this, man. Why? Why is the shadow popping up? You know, mm -hmm. <laughs> things like that got me mad. But yep. again, overall, the conflicting just caused things like, you know, you have breaks in parkour, you know, the parkour wasn't super refined. Even though it has some depth to it, it, it isn't super refined. You know, we have this clunky kind of control scheme. Mm -hmm. You know, the speed really can't be defined by by itself because of the run button. The run button is just kind of awkward. And you know, they can they should have made better controls, but I think that was the best they could do under the stress that they were under. Because Sonic, <laughs> it, it basically every Sonic game that has came out after Heroes just gets bashed, and yeah. I, I think a lot of them don't write it like, rightfully deserve it. <laughs> now, well, the, the thing is, is that when you talk about the parkour system as, as a whole in Lost World, people complain about it heavily when they forget about the fact that the tubular level design means that you can bypass a lot of the parkour if you don't want to. But the fact that it's being marketed as this big addition to the game, this this main running feature, you want to experiment naturally with the parkour, and they have a lot of level like sections dedicated to just that. And I've always said, like, because I've seen it in like a dare, dare I say the Sonic continuity, if you even want to. Call it that. We've seen him running along walls. We've seen him, you know, running up walls. We know he can do that. And I always said they should implement a system where you can do that at your own will. The problem is, is that when you try to experiment in Lost World because of the control scheme, it the game becomes not fun, or rather, it becomes less fun than it already is. <laughs> exactly. Like that. That's how I feel about it. You know, the game is decent, but it, it like you said, we, like we just said, it, it all these flaws just make it to where it's just like, eh, I'm, yeah. the I'm game, the game, the game itself, the game itself in my opinion just reeks of experimentation because a lot of the levels like I don't know I'd like to say Frozen Factory is a large example it has all of yeah it has the whole snowball dedicated level it then goes to a casino level for some reason while it's still called Frozen Factory there's the whole tropical levels where you have to you know push fruit into like giant blenders and shit which reminds me of something out of Mario Sunshine um, it's like the game doesn't really have an identity of its own and it's trying to cater to all these different uh, Sonic fans all these different groups and because of that the game as a whole just falls apart at the seams. Exactly. Um, we're actually going to end this video here because, it, it, I mean, guys, tell us down below how you feel about the video, you know. Um, tell us your thoughts on how you feel about Lost World because I generally just see people bashing it or praising the game. That there's really it's one of those games that are super mixed in opinion. Or you know you have you have the opinions that are like right down the middle that are kind of rare. But otherwise you just see them over praising a game or like just bashing a game to, to out of existence. So, uh, Scourge, you got any, anything else to say? Uh, I would I would throw in, like, product placement and say go check out my channel here, but I, that, I mean, my channel link will be in the description anyway. Mostly all I can say is if the Sonic discussion videos, considering I do Sonic theories as a whole, discussion videos are kind of my forte, so I'd love to be in more, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Alright, guys, so if you like this video, don't forget... <sighs>
This is like the fifth time I done did this in the past yeah, week. <laughs> so uh, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Share this video with your friends. And this is me, your man, Shattuck Stick and the Sega Scourge, the Sonic Theories. <sighs> links will be down in the score. Uh, yeah. I'm going <laughs> to kill myself. The Shattuck, links... you're sliding, man. The quality sliding. <laughs> I know, exactly. Links will be down below in the description. This is me, man, Shattuck Stick. Have a good one. Peace. Kiss, kiss.